This is the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. So my hospital just got the vaccines in today. They want us to take it. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna video taking it, and I'm gonna do some follow-up videos over the next couple days to see if I die or if I grow another head or maybe just have side effects. So let's go get the vaccine. Yeah. All right, here we go. See what happens. Can you tell me when you do it? I'm done. I know, it's messing me up. Yeah. I feel fine. Yeah, you just. Oh, 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 help. <laughs> All right, thanks. That's it? That's it. Cool. Oh, I got the vaccine. Am I going to die? What's going to happen? Stay tuned. Over the next few days, I'll let you know. <laughs> Good afternoon. The regulators who approve the use of the Pfizer BioNTech COVID jab say it shouldn't be given to people with a history of significant allergic reactions to other vaccines, medicine, or food. The new advice comes after two NHS workers in England suffered an allergic reaction on the first day of the mass vaccination program. Both are recovering well. I took my post down because I had so much hate and people saying that I should die of coronavirus because I can't take the vaccine because of anaphylactis risk to myself. This is exactly why I can't take it. Not everyone can take it. Stop the hate. Oh my God. I just got the COVID vaccine today and you're never going to believe what I just discovered. Check this out. Hello? Activate. Good evening, Becky. Today is December 16th, 2020. You are healthy today. Your temperature is 98 degrees. You can leave your house today. As a matter of fact, your favorite deodorant is now on sale. Hey, if you've ever used one of these, you really don't have to worry about what's in the COVID vaccine. If you have facial fillers and we're considering getting the COVID vaccine, this is something you need to know. Three patients in the Moderna vaccine trial developed facial or lip swelling after receiving the vaccine. Two of these patients received cheek fillers six months prior to the vaccine and one patient received lip fillers two days after the vaccine. In all three cases, the swelling resulted without issue. This is actually not something unexpected and these type of inflammatory reactions have been seen in the past with patients who develop sinus infections, dental infections, upper respiratory infections, or even after a dental cleaning. Our immune system revs up as an intended response to a vaccine. If you get the vaccine and have facial fillers and notice these symptoms, simply let your injector know and they'll know exactly how to treat you. Taking some over-the-counter antihistamines or a short course of a low-dose steroid taper should do the trick. So I had the COVID vaccine yesterday. My arm's been a bit numb, but that's about it. No side effects. So I thought... I've just got out of the bath. I thought, oh, I've got an ingrown hair on my moo. I looked, it's a skin tag. That wasn't there yesterday. I got a skin tag. On the top of my vagina. What the hell is in that jab? What is in that jab? Oh, I'm sprouting. I've aged. I'm 75. I'm going to get liver spots next. What the fuck is going on? Also, everyone was like, are you actually going to have that jab? Because Boris is going to watch you. He's going to watch whatever you're doing. He's got a chip in it. I fucking wish Boris was watching me pop to Aldi, but he's not. He's put a tag on me, Mo. Nothing against skin tags, by the way, but come on, am I fucking vagina? Nah, not having that one. The only thing disgusting is your lack of medical knowledge. Do you think a guy, oxygen saturations of 73%, 100% oxygen, can make a rational decision? Thank God you're not a doctor. So 
I just got my COVID vaccine about an hour ago and I'm feeling pretty good. Just taking a little nature walk to see. Here's a quick update. I am 12 hours post dose number two of the COVID-19 vaccine and the aches and pains have already started. I have neck pain, back pain, and a pretty bad headache and I've taken two ibuprofen. <laughs> Updated on my COVID vaccination. I got Moderna shot number two on Tuesday, and I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't the easiest thing. Probably about six hours after I got it, I was feeling headachey and some soreness in my neck and upper back, which is similar to how I felt with the first one. But then overnight, I was achy all night, kind of tossing and turning. I never got fevers or chills or anything, but I did feel achy and sore and gross the whole next day. Um, I took some Tylenol and ibuprofen, which really helped a lot and helped me get through my work day. But when that wore off, I got really, really nauseous and had to lay down and rest for a while. By about 36 hours afterwards, I was feeling much, much better. And by the you know, 48 hours afterwards, I was doing fabulous. So in the end, worth it. But yeah, it was kind of hard for a while.